Monday bonus clips for you. We've got rescues. Wow. We've got rescue. Crested geckos come to the sun's fighting us. So we've got two full setups. Uh, we've got a female crested gecko and we've got a male crested gecko. Four years old, good size adults. I believe Morgan's probably going to be taking one home and looking after one there. Um, but we're gonna have, they've done really, really nice setups to be fair. They're really, really cool. This one's fell apart a little bit in the transit. But we'll, uh, we'll have a little look, see if we can find them. Um, and then we'll get them. Might have to take them upstairs and get them set up upstairs or something like that, but we'll see how we get on. Have a look, look, this should be our female. If I remember right, she's a harlequin. So she's just there in the bushes. Hello, pretty. Hello. You okay? Hey, you wanna come out? You okay? Hello. Ah, you are stunning, you are. You want to go in the bushes? <laughs> Looks like a harlequin with a little bit of Dalmatian in him. Uh, sorry. A little bit of Dalmatian, a little bit of harlequin. Definitely a female. And got full tail and everything, which is absolutely fantastic. She let us hold her as well. And you darling, you let us hold you, didn't you? Oh, she's off again. So there she is. She's got a really, really nice setup. Happy little gecko. In here, we have our male. So it is a little bit knocked over. Oh, I see a tail. Hello, my friend. Do you want to say hello? Oh, he's quick. He's a quick one. Oh, we won't grab him, we won't grab him. He wants to hold him in the belly. He picks him up on the belly and he stays there, it's fine. You okay, my friend? You okay, you okay. Wants to just have a little check over you. So we want to do. Little check. That's it, how we doing? Oh, you are a nice little boy, ain't ya? Hello, my friend. You look spitting image of them, the little crestie I used to have. I had a male crestie like this, but he didn't have a tail, he dropped his tail. But he's definitely a boy. You're definitely packing, sir. Oh, and he's off. There he is, our lovely little male. So he has bred before, she hasn't bred. So, <coughs> excuse me. Lovely, lovely little mouse. We get these set up, we get some other stuff in there, give him a bit of height. Uh, she's pretty much ready to go. We'll just spray her up and then we're gonna find some spots to see if we can get them set up somewhere in the shop Found one spot. Well, we've got another one as well, but this one's ready to go. So I've moved it out now. We've measured You're overflowing the tank. Oh, she was close. She was close. Oh, oh she, did, did she run off? <laughs> so up here, we've measured it. It is 47 and a half. We need 46 and a half. So we've got 10 mil spare. So hopefully, the problem is that's a very high way for me to lift and put the tank. So Morgan's gonna have to film, keep an eye on everything. Um, I might have to use the ladders or something like that to lift it up. But that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna have one up there. I have a plan. Waha. So Morgan, Morgan's mom, is having that female with this tank, and we're having the male with this tank. So we're gonna get this tank set up up there, and then we can uh, take the female out, put her in this one, we can then bring the male out and put him in this one, get this one all set up nice and ready to go. Um, Fingers crossed that should be it and we're all ready to go then and Morgan's going to take the female and the tank away tonight. So that one's already got a forever home. It's Morgan's mum and Morgan's always wanted one so they're taking the one. And then we can trip this one up and see if we can find a forever home. A two part plan. So pick it up, move it all the way to here. Readjust, work out the best angle, then from here up there that is the plan um 
So we're gonna have to try and see if it works basically. So we get Morgan to be the camera lady for us. Hello my darling, you feeling better? Still causing trouble at the front. Um, so we get Morgan and see if we can put it up there. Bit of a who are my rabbit's gone really poorly, so I've got to I've got to shoot home and check on it. Um, so we're going to quickly put this up there, and then I'm going to have to shoot and check on my rabbit. He's, he's not very well. I've had a phone call from him, mob. Um, doesn't look good. Uh, so we're going to get this chucked up there, and I'm going to have to shoot. Ready? Yeah. Like a glove. <laughs> that went really well. I didn't drop it, didn't break it. And I think it suits up there, fits in with everybody. So we've got to get the lights and that chucked on, but I'm going to leave Morgan to do that. And I'm going to have to go, I'm going to go, oh my gosh, check me rabbit, everyone's all in a big hoo -ah. Just checked on him, they're taking him to the vets now. Since I've been here, he's perked up loads. Um, he wasn't moving or doing anything when, when they were here. I've come, put him on the floor, and he's hopped around for me. But what he's doing, this is the rabbit. He's hopping, but he goes, we dunk, we dunk, we dunk. He's flopping over on one side and he's all, he's jumping and it's all wiggledy piggledy. So I think he's at something and he's having a reaction from it. Um, Cause he's, he's slowly improving over time. So like the, it's wearing off or he's starting to get a bit better from it. I'm not sure, it's just me hoping for the best, basically. Um, so they're gonna let me know how they get on with him. Um, and that's all, I can just, I've just gotta wait and see. So I'll lock the house up, if I can get the right key. And I'm gonna shoot back to the shop and we'll let Morgan off. I've just brought her out, because she was attacking the glass again. She just hadn't fed a locust from me up there. Do you want another one, darling? Have she had one for me, which is good. Thing is, she's been laying eggs and she doesn't want to eat. So I'm a bit, what I'm concerned about is the excess skin. Because of course she's, she's not eating as much, so she's losing weight. Come on, darling. Of course, some of it could just be where the eggs were and stuff. But I'm just a little bit concerned about it. Yeah, we're all in, we're all wired up and everything. I've just spent 20 minutes trying to figure out why the lights aren't on. It's, the temperature's fine. It's, uh, it's set to 25, there's 25 in here, so that's why the lights aren't coming up. Um, but to prove it, I'll turn the thermostat up to show you that they turn on. Fear, if I use this to turn the little knob out, it should turn the lights on. So we are set to 24. So if I turn this bad boy up, there you go, lights are on. If I turn it back down. There you go, it's off, so that's, that is on 25. Yeah, so that's, I'm happy with that. Oh, let's come back on, there we go. So I'm happy with that, it's all working. So we've got night time temp, basking spot. I'm not sure if it's worth us bringing it a bit further forward. 
Now his basking spot's going to be on top of that log. So if we move it back, he's going to get a better chance of having a bask. So we'll put that there. He does have little feet. There we go, that locks it in place. So we've got the heat probe down there right by the basking spot. So I'm happy with that now. All we've got to do is swap over the crested. Um, they're about to put him to sleep, basically. Uh, yeah, so they're about to put him to sleep. He had a stroke. There's nothing they could do. Sorry, I can't do it. Sorry. So I sorted myself out, basically. He's, he's had a stroke. He's actually put it down. But we're not going to speak about it anymore because we can't deal with it. Um, so what we're going to do, we've got to swap the geckos over because Morgan's having the female and the male's staying here with us, but we're swapping tanks. Um, so we've got to catch the male, catch the female, swap them over, fish, brush, brush them. So I think what we'll do, the female we'll put into a transport box because Morgan's got to transfer her home. So it's probably be easier than her staying in the tank. Um, and then the male, we can just chuck him straight in. So Morgan's going to borrow one of our bigger tubs to take her home in. The only things we're going to be changing is we're putting bigger food bowls in because they're, uh, they've only got little bottle tops, so we're going to want to put bigger sources of food in for them. That's all we're going to do. I don't know why she's attacking the glass like that again. I open the glass and then she just sits there with the glass open, so she's really, really nervous about her, I am. Um, so where is our crusty? Aha, I can see a bottom. I was still recording for ages then. Okay, we lost her. We lost her. Oh, she's at the back. Come on, darling, we're coming. You okay? All the way. There we go. Come on then. Hello. You're Morgan's new friend. Yes, you are. In we go. Stay. There we go. Transport box done. Successful transfer. There you go, Morgan. Enjoy your new gecko. Thank you. And we've got to catch one and put him back in here. Whoa. Lovely job, The eh? question is can we just grab him and take him over? Hey, my friend. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, look, see? You're okay, stop he's attacking me. Okay. <laughs> ah! Morgan! You got him? Yeah, he just jumped on my hand. <laughs> ah! Come here, little dude. We got him. We got <laughs> him, if he is. Come on, wiggle bum. Wiggle bum. Look at that. Smells like your girlfriend. Yeah. We have cleaned all the glass and stuff like that. There we go, settled in, lovely, lovely, jubbly. So that's the one we're keeping with us, and Morgan's taking the female home. So we're at home now, got my brother, my mom, and everybody, and we're, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna bury him now. So we've dug a massive hole, so uh, he's gonna he's live in the garden. There he is, poor marshmallow. Oh, I don't know. Oh. He was about 20 years old, this rabbit was. I think my brother's gonna do some scoopies. There we go. See you in a bit, my friend. See you in a bit. There we go, he's all dug over. We've got a big capstone now. Big, big capstone. Oh. There we go. 
I think that'll keep him safe and stop any, any animals trying to dig him up. Hey then everybody, so that was yesterday for you. Um, I tried my best for it, but at one point I just I couldn't deal with it. Um, so that's going to be it for today. I'm going to be doing another video on today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. And uh, if you want to watch another video, there should be one down there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, she's up there. I've had to split it into two videos because there's just going to be too much going on today to be like a 45 minute video. So I'm going to have to split up and do another one. I'm sorry, it's just going to work better. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.